I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Who knows? I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey guys, my name's Gloria and welcome back to my channel. Today I am continuing the thread of proving that I don't just read horror novels. And today is a non-fiction book by a Dublin writer, Emma DeBerry. Uh, and it's called Don't Touch My Hair, which uh, I would also like you not to touch my hair because my hair is fake and it will come off my head. But I first heard of Emma DeBerry's book on the Blind Boy podcast. She did a live podcast with him and it was really interesting. She is an Irish writer and an academic and this one has been on my TBR for ages, uh, but I just... So many things on my TBR so I haven't got around to it yet, but I thought why not? Now is the time to learn about other people's hair. Touch My Hair is about the traditions and the history of Afro-Caribbean hair and it's told through the lens of a woman who grew up in Dublin and the difficulties that she faced, the racism that she faced and the difficulties of getting anyone to care for her hair in Dublin or in Ireland at all and the lack of knowledge that it is out there because of the prejudice against Afro-Caribbean hair uh, and the struggles she faced later in life learning how to properly care for her hair and properly style her hair. So this book touches on the micro and not so micro aggressions of racism in Ireland and beyond. Dabiri mentions the fact that uh, as a teenager her mother would, her white mother who would save up um, to bring her to London to get her hair properly done in salons there because there just wasn't anywhere in Ireland in order to do that. Um, she talks personally of her experience with hair relaxers and chemical relaxers and how she didn't stop using them until she became an adult and realised that there were other ways to care for Afro-Caribbean hair. She also interestingly uh, talks about learning to love not just uh, the, the texture of her hair uh, but the the time that it takes uh, to properly take care of Afro-Caribbean hair and the social and meditative aspects of this. Um, so she talks a lot about how going to salons, um, obviously braiding an entire head of ha anyone's hair takes a lot of time. So going to family friends and to family members and salons, it takes a long time uh, to do these things. So it's a, it's a social thing, it's a meditative thing to spend so much time taking care of your own hair or your families or your daughters, sisters, whatever, brothers, husbands, hairs. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting part of the book. And throughout, throughout history in a lot of black cultures, um, it has been quite a social thing to do this. Uh, Don't Touch My Hair is a fascinating book in a lot of aspects. One aspect in particular for me that I will not be able to explain properly, so you will just have to read the book, was uh, Emma DeBerry's um, thoughts on time and how we think of time. She talks about how when people speak about caring for Afro-Caribbean Afro hair, uh, they think of it as very time consuming and even a lot of black people might use hair relaxants or different different types of hair styling methods um, because to do it in the more traditional ways it's very time consuming and they just don't have time to do this if they want to have the full-time jobs and all the other things that everyone does throughout the day but this is a relatively new thing um, since the 40 hour a week and the 95 jobs. These types of jobs were brought to Africa and whatnot. And it's seen as a waste of time and it's not just uh, the caring of Afro-Caribbean hair. I think this happens with everyone's lives in the capitalist society that we live in. It's like cooking or exercising or cleaning your own house or the art that you want to partake in, it's always seen as very time consuming. Um, and what that really means is that's that's a negative connotation and it means it's it's wasteful time because it's not productive. You're not making money out of it, you're not it's not part of your, your work or your job. Um, so it was just interesting to hear her points on that. She explains it a lot better than I do. 
uh, but it was just interesting to sort of think of the different things that everyone does every day um, that I think we need to look at in a different way. It's also a fascinating book for the history of Afro-Caribbean hair, obviously for slaves in in slavery in America they they couldn't keep take care of their hair the way that they used to so a fascinating look at Nigeria before white settlers colonized it and the the different messages that could be sent through hair um the different styles that worked uh it was interesting to see that in Nigeria there's a lot of fractals used uh my boyfriend's a bit of a nerd he's obsessed with fractals so not only in their architecture but also in their braids and their hair stylings, there's a lot of fractals. Even just the history of black hair care products and the women that pioneered these in the last couple of centuries and how they've made their money off them and even today the perceptions of black hair and the perceptions of braids and the the whole uh, celebrities making styles popular uh, that ordinary black people um, are penalised for in jobs and schools and whatnot. Uh, it is a very interesting book, a very fascinating book. I learned a lot and Emma DeBerry is a very accomplished writer. Uh, she's a very good writer in the academic sense but she also puts a bit of her personality and a bit of her uh, good old Dublinisms in there as well. So those did make me chuckle a bit. So Don't Touch My Hair is an informative and fascinating well written book and I would highly recommend it and you can definitely order it from any of the good uh, the good indie bookstores in Ireland. Uh, the Gutter Bookshop being one of my favourites. Um, and I would also suggest that you listen to the Blind Boy podcast as well because it's quite fascinating to hear her talk about all of this and everything surrounding the book as well. So. Thank you for watching, that was my review of Don't Touch My Hair and I really appreciate uh, the likes and subscribes I've gotten so far. You can stay tuned for more reviews and more, more of me trying to write my own book this month. So thanks so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing here, you can like and subscribe down below and I shall see you in the next video.